Once again, guys, fig season is upon us, and I've been in full swing lately, taking lots of cuttings and sticking them out in my little tote. I've got this revolving door kind of thing here where I'm sticking the cuttings. They're actually outside in that little room I showed you before, and I've got some bottom heat. I turned off the lights, so I'm not putting any light on top of the figs while they're forming callus. They're not really rooting yet because it's still a little cold out there, but they're forming callus. And then after three weeks to a month or so, I'm bringing them inside and I'm putting them under this table here behind me. I showed you guys this last year in some of my videos about figs through the winter. So I've been getting some questions lately on our Facebook group where people are wondering what to do with their figs after they get them rooted in the winter time because obviously it's cold outside in most parts of the country and you wouldn't want to take a nice new little fig and just put it outside to fend for itself. So I'll show you what I've been doing and uh, what I recommend you do. And the first thing is I don't recommend you put them outside. I actually had a few people ask about that and thought maybe it'd be okay to put them outside. And I'll just tell you right now, I think that is a really bad idea. I think they're gonna die if you put them outside. It's just gonna be too cold. It's gonna, they're gonna get shocked and you know, they're going from a warm house environment where it's like 65 to 70 degrees usually, right out to, I don't know, anywhere from negative 10 degrees to 40 degrees, depending on what part of the country you're in. And it's just too much of a stress on those newly rooted fig cuttings. They really need to get a chance to get established first. So last winter, I just left them in my frame here or under my table here and up potted them to a little bit bigger pot. And I'll show you that as well. Uh, and then when spring came around, I put them outside and we tried a few experiments with that last year. How soon can you put them outside? And actually I'll, I'll uh, probably I'll try to find the video and link to one of those experiments up here uh, where I actually took one of the figs put it outside and it was still a little cold the leaves fell off the figs actually froze but then they bounced back and continued to grow on but right now it's December I think it's December 11th today and it's just way too cold so let's take a look at what we got behind me here and show you guys what I am doing with these figs all right so you guys have seen this if you've been following me since uh, at least last winter. I set all this up and it's been working out great. I've got this eight bulb light underneath here. I actually had to go online and find it from an industrial light supply. You couldn't find them in like Lowe's or Home Depot or anything like that. But uh, they're eight T8 bulbs and I think it totals like 256 watts or something like that. But it's four foot long, two foot wide and it fits perfectly under this four foot long table. And then I've got these little totes I got from uh, Wally World and uh, they're like four bucks each or something but three of them fits under here I'm just not that far along yet so these were all the figs that I showed you in that last fig video that I posted and I'll put a link up in the corner there to it if you haven't seen it yet but uh, it was about temperatures and how warm I was keeping the cuttings but these guys here are from that batch. After three weeks outside, I brought them indoors here and it's much warmer in here. I don't have them on bottom heat or anything, but plenty of warmth is provided from this light. And then I'm inside my house, so it's usually like 65 to 70 degrees. These guys haven't fully, they've actually rooted, but they haven't fully, um, you know, started, the buds haven't started breaking yet and opening up. This guy has, but the reason I've got them in separate containers here is because I'm watering these guys a little bit more often. I don't want to water these guys too much yet because I don't want to waterlog the roots and cause them to rot. And so I'm, I'm being a little more careful with these until they fully leaf out and they're sucking up lots of water. These guys I'm leaving. Now, so the question is, what do you do with them? And one guy this morning, I was looking on our group and he was, you know, showing a picture of one of his uh, little cuttings and how it was full in the in the cup there but if you look at that I mean this guy right here is just filling up with roots but even at this level this is that black Madeira KK it's finally starting to leaf out but even with this guy fully rooting out here let's get this under the light 
I will leave it in this cup for a while longer. It doesn't need to come out yet. It's okay if these guys get a little bit root bound I'm finding and just let them stay inside, stay in the same small cups, especially if you're tight on space and let them fully just use that space and really fill up that cup in there. There's no problem with it at all. And here in a second, I'll show you what I up pot them to, but I leave these guys in here for a while until they get good, you know, solid leaves. I mean, like this guy back here, this is a Noir de Barbantain, and uh, it's got some really nice leaves forming on there now and starting to kind of harden off. And uh, it's, this guy's actually got smaller roots, but it's slowly starting to build up in the cup there. But I won't take these guys out of here until they've been circling the cup and really building up in there because once again we're short on space there's no need for it with these figs and you're trying to make it through the whole winter without having any problems uh with these figs you know have you know having to up pot them to bigger pots and eventually running out of space because we're in our house and we're limited uh these are a couple of little experiments i did i bought some fig cuttings online and from uh, Dan Foster and this was kind of a bonus he sent me some of these peat pods I've never done it this way but I had a couple extra cuttings one extra of the Ischia black and then this was a smith uh, cutting off of my own smith tree smith fig tree and I just wanted to see how they root in those little peat pods and so anyway that's going on there just trying to see what's happening but uh, let's show you those bigger cups that I up pot these guys too all right, so these I actually found at a local restaurant supply store. It's called Cash and Carry. Uh, uh, it's out in, uh, if you guys live in the Pacific Northwest area, there's several of them around, I believe. But the one I got these at was in Lacey. Uh, anyway, pull one of these out so you can see what they look like. So this is the cup. There's actually two of them there. That's the cup there, and it's a pretty good size. And so, like I said, I leave them in these totes for a while, or in these smaller plastic cups for a while, in these totes here. And then once I just can't stand it, <laughs> uh, and also, I'll watch these leaves, and I'll make sure they're growing healthy and everything is looking good. If things aren't looking healthy, and I really feel like they need to get up potted, I'll do it sooner. But I'll watch them and make sure that they're doing great. And as long as they're doing great, I leave them in here. But then eventually I'll up pot them to a little bit bigger cup here. And you can see the size difference. And it just buys me maybe an extra, I don't know, an extra month or two, maybe even three months. Just depends on how fast the roots grow on the individual varieties. But you can see it's a little bit bigger. It's These cups are slightly taller. Uh, They've got plenty of room around the edges, but it just kind of, it actually reinvigorates the plant once I up pot them into here because they've been root bound in these little guys. And then I put them in here and it just lets them stretch out and really start growing a little bit nicer. But you got to be careful about how soon you do that because you don't want them growing up and hitting your lights. So it's kind of a game that you've got to play here through the winter time. So I would definitely recommend not taking these guys outside once they've rooted through the winter definitely definitely want to make sure that you keep them inside but keep them in the smaller cups for a while they'll do just fine now if you guys are interested i got another little experiment going on here to see what happens i'll keep you updated i'm not expecting a whole lot out of this guy but in this little bag yeah, i actually got some martinica ramada cuttings and i stuck all the cuttings outside in my other little tote but uh, these were ends that I cut off because they were just long chunks in between the nodes and it, they were too long, you know, to stick all the way down in these cups. So I cut them off and even though they didn't have any nodes on them, I thought I'll just put them in this plastic bag with some moist paper towel and just keep them under this warm light. And it, you know, they're actually starting to grow some little root initials. I don't see any roots yet, but just the you know, the little white specks that start coming out all over the little cuttings. I'll show it to you here. All right, let's pull these guys out of here and show you what we got. So like I said, there are no nodes on these guys, so who knows what will happen. Maybe nothing will happen. But uh, you can see I'm getting, let's get into the light there. You can see all those little white specks anyway. 
lots of little root initials and all these little white specks are where all the roots are going to come out of but I don't have any nodes on them but they were Martinica Ramada and I wanted to make sure that uh, I did everything I could with every little bit of cutting material that I had so I'll keep you updated we'll see what happens with these little guys wouldn't it be cool if all of a sudden some little spot on one of them grew a node and was able to do something anyway it's just lightly dampened. I'm just going to keep it in this bag here. And then just throw it down under the light. And it just keeps it real nice and warm. Let's go take a look at what I got going on outside. I'm sure some of you guys are interested in that right now. Alright guys, so we're in this little room outside where we keep our freezer and all that. And just the kind of odds and ends. So um, it's pretty cold out here. It gets down to 50 degrees. Uh, it's you know it's a room it's enclosed completely so the heat mat and I've got a few lights behind me here they kind of keep the the room from freezing but it's been down into the 40s in here but I've got my tote as I've showed you before sitting up on the heat mat got it propped up with a two by two so there's some space between it so it didn't overheat but this is what I've been doing with these hardwood cuttings here I've got the heat mat down under there and it's on right now. Everything's kind of warm down in this medium. I checked the temperature the other day. I, it was in the mid to high 70s. And then out here, like I said, it'll be in the 40s occasionally, 50s in this air in the room. And sometimes on warm days, it gets up into the low 60s. But uh, these cuttings are doing great. So I actually, last time I had the lights here from this little fixture turned on, this and I noticed that the top was drying out. The tops of uh, this material here was drying out, and I didn't like that. It was happening too fast, and I didn't want to have to keep spraying these guys with water. And so I turned them off. And there's really no need for light on these cuttings until they actually start leafing out. They just don't need light. What they need, they're hardwood cuttings. What they need is for some moisture down in there and heat on the bottom to just start forming callus and, and growing and getting all those little cells to multiply and divide. And what I've noticed is if you do that for a few weeks, even up to a month, and don't have the lights on, the little buds won't break. And then we bring them indoors once they're full of callus and they get into that warmth and all that bright light and they just take off, man. And it just works out great. But so this is the next round. Like I said, it's like a revolving door, just cuttings out here. And then I move them on the inside and keep going with it. But uh, I thought you guys would like to see that little setup right now. So that is it, guys. Just a quick update for you guys right now. It's cold, it's nasty outside. We got a windstorm going on right now, a rainstorm. It's just it's just nasty outside. I don't know what to say. It's the middle of December and here we are, all broken hearted. What do we do? Anyway, <laughs> figs are a lot of fun. They'll take you through the winter. I love, I love propagating these things. They just root so easily if you just pay attention and do it right and give them what they need. Remember, they're hardwood cuttings. They don't need humidity. So if you like this video and you guys want to see more updates like this through the winter, even though it's nasty outside and there's not a lot going on out there, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want to follow along. Remember, it's almost December 21st. And you know what that means? It's going to start getting lighter every single day. And I get so excited this time of year because I know that one day is coming. And from there on, it's smooth sailing. So like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to follow along. We're going to have some awesome videos coming up this spring and summer and all that good stuff. Have an awesome week, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.